Right, this little video is um, just an idea I came up with to change the carburetor on um, GX160 Honda from uh, this cycle kit that I'm making. I'm putting on a slide carburetor, which is this one. They're much better, much better carburetor than those. So. I've come up with this idea to fit a carburetor on. Now the biggest problem when you're doing one of these is this cylinder head. It's this arrangement here. It's really odd. It's um, it's, a, it's an odd intake because the holes are offset and then they're not in the centre either. They're not in the centre that way and they're actually offset that way. So it's really odd, odd and it's um, not much meat here either to put a gasket on. On the cylinder head, is it an handle? When it's on the engine, it's actually not like that or like that. It's actually slightly off. So the whole thing doesn't lend itself easily to, uh, to making an adapter. I've tried it before, I made one once out of aluminium and it wasn't successful. It, 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 um, the vibration cracked the aluminium and it didn't. It, it failed. So I've come up with this today, and if anybody's interested wants to have a look what I've done, is, um, this is the adapter that I've made. Basically all it is, is a tube, a metal tube, with two spacers welded on. Now, those spaces are set back slightly from from the, the, the front face. You can just see there that it's set, set slightly back. So the front face, once it hits this, will be nice and tight. And at the other end, you've got your carburetor. And the other problem is, is that when the carburetor is on the cylinder head, those holes don't line up with these holes and it's slightly off as well when that's when that cylinder heads on the engine that wants to go like that it's not in line the holes aren't in line it wants to be like that so the whole thing is a little bit askew which makes it more difficult to um, to make so the idea is is that that surface there will push up against there okay and then that surface there pushes against this o-ring here which is a dead fit for that o-ring there like that okay and again there's not a lot of lot of room to to make um to put a a flange on the front and bolt it on you could make a flange something like that put it on and then weld it around the back here the problem is with that is, is that when you weld something like that it would tend to distort, the heat of the welding process would tend to bend that flange back like that. As the, as the welding's cooling it would distort the front surface and then you've got uh, a potential for, for having an air leak which is what you don't want. So I've, I've tried to get away from welding something on that surface and to keep it dead straight. Now. Oh, I only cut this off with axe it's a piece of tubing I was cut off with axe and then I filed it level right now when you filed it level you need it needs to be level so it'll seal so if to, just to find out whether it's level or not if you get get the surface like it's nice and shiny if you just get a bit of marker pen and you mark it like that. Just let that dry off for a second or two. It's a bit like using what they call engineer's blue this. This is what engineers do to find out level surfaces. The, the, the user, it's called engineer's blue. It's a blue liquid they put on. It dries and then you can rub it and find out where, where there are any ice spots. Just let go off a little bit there. So that's where we're at at the moment. I've made a gasket to fit here Now this is a slightly thicker gasket than the normal gasket and that would fit that's the wrong way around I think see 
you have to get the gasket on the right way because the, the whole thing is offset the holes are not in line they're offset that way and all sorts so that will be a new gasket to fit on there now I'm pretty sure that will be okay but what I've actually made as well is I've made this gasket which is it's actually a bit of gutter sealant it's like for, for, for roof roofing stuff this this is the um, that's the material that, that's that's the material uh, I've made it out of now this has got like um it's got like a bitumen on the inside and this is it's like a consistency of very very soft lead now I've made made a gasket and I think that, that on there when that that's bolted on that's never going to leak in the memory man I'm going to try this I've never tried this stuff before but I can't see why we can't use this because it's very very soft and it would make a terrific inlet inlet gasket okay that's dried now so what we can do is you get a flat surface something like that you put this on and you rub it. now if I rubbed all that that green off there now you can see that that's flat providing the surface is flat if there was any green dots on there or lines that would be a a low point and you'd have to file that to get it out but I'm pretty confident now that that surface is, is, is flat so I've done that one I've done the other one I've tried them both so what we're, what we're going to do now is I'm going to put that gasket on there right I'm back my battery ran out so I just changed the battery on me on my camera I'll have to get some new ones right so what I've done is I've put that seal on there and I've mounted that tube under with these two screws here so you just tighten that up equally so you're not tightening one side more than the other Now, I'm confident that that is a good seal. That that's an airtight seal, which is which is what you're looking for. So there's no air can be drawn in around that surface. So I'm confident that that's a good seal. Right now, the next thing you've got to do. So that that's on the on the engine, something like that. What I've done, I've made this for the other end. Right now, the idea of this is because I don't know the exact handle this wants to be at because when this is on the engine this carburetor wants to be vertical right and it's not in line with that one so I can rotate it round to the right position so what I've done I've made this now this goes on that goes on there like that and then you put little dot and bolt in there more fingers and thumbs because I'm trying to keep away from the camera and not knock the camera over now the idea of this is is that once I've got this clamp in position on the engine I can put it I can rotate it to the right position clamp that up and then tighten this up to the carburetor now once I've got it in position and I know it's right, I could weld it, I could spot weld it here, but I don't think I need to do that. I think it'll be fine. So I've made another gasket to go on here, and again, the, this carburetor, 
the holes aren't dead centre, they're slightly up. So you've got to make sure the gasket you make is right. Now, really don't need a gasket for this because it's got this o-ring on here. And that o-ring is a dead size for that tube. But I've made a gasket anyway. I just like to be a little bit built in braces when I'm doing it like this. So that fits on there. That. Now make sure that this surface here is sticking proud of that clamp. Because I want that surface to hit that surface and not, and not hit the clamp. So that goes on there like that. And the carburetor fits on there like that. So that's that's made a start now so once I put that on that's how it's on the engine I would then rotate this so it's in the right position so it's vertical so we'll set say that's the, that's the position it wants to be at at this point I then tighten the clamp up clamp now is tightened up on the tube so that clamp if it is going to move it's going to want it's going to be tight and then all I do is tighten the nuts up and that's tightened on to there so just find my um, 10 equally so you don't get one side tighter than the other. So that would then fit on the engine. That would be a cylinder head on the engine and that was that's how it would fit like that. Now I'm confident that, that that is a good inlet manifold. You know there's no distortion because there's no welding done to these flanges. Now I've not tried it yet, so when I've put it on and tried it, I'll do another little video and I'll link it to this one. But that that's the that's the idea of it. And when it's on That's where it's going to fit on there. Normally there's two long studs. There's two long studs that go in there, one in there, and one in there. You just got to take two studs out and um, do it like I've done on the bench there. Just bolt it on and that really should be, should be fine. So once I've got it on and I've got it running, I'll do another video and uh, if it's successful then uh, there we go. So I'm quite happy with that actually, it looks uh, quite good.